Tap Dot officials say the rain and sleet we saw ahead of the snowfall was a lot more than they had anticipated. Yeah, that precipitation then froze into sheets of ice underneath the snow, making it just, well, extremely hazardous for motors. Shatanya Clark was on the roads today. And Shatanya, what progress have they made going into and then through the weekend? Well, Lauren, Adele Lewis with the Text Dot says thanks to the sun, today is the game changer for Text Dot crews. However, motorists should be aware of the possibility of black ice tonight and tomorrow morning. Though there was extensive chemical pretreatment ahead of this week's winter storm, Texas Department of Transportation's Adele Lewis says the rain that passed through washed it away, causing it to lose its effectiveness. Compared to the February winter storm last year, Lewis says the storm was relatively easy for crews to work through. We had cold air that had already set in before our precipitation started to fall, and so that way we got only snow. We also had pre-treated and it was quite easy to push the uh, snow off the roadway with the plows, retreat, put down some aggregate. Lewis says TxDOT's primary responsibility is tier one roads because they're carrying the most traffic. We have 287, I-44, 82, Cal Freeway, you know, that were really hit and hard and heavy. If you get out into our rural sections, they will have a piece of a U.S. highway or they'll have a state highway, that that's their number one concern at the moment. And then they are able to break off onto lesser travel roadways a little bit sooner than the rest of us. Lewis says the sun made all the difference for crews working on Friday. Because then you have infrared rays that are helping to melt the snow and ice. You also have the, the, the pro whole process of sublimation. Today is our biggest game changer. Um, we've done a phenomenal job on our major highways and we are getting off onto secondary roadways as we can. Our roads have at least two lanes clear and free throughout the Wichita Falls area, and so that's a good big step for us. Travelers heading out the door this weekend, though, are being cautioned to remain alert. Lewis says the bridges and overpasses will freeze up once again, and there will be patches of snow and ice to look out for. Now, Lewis says intersections and low spots could continue to be trouble spots for motorists. Now, crews will be working all day tomorrow and into Sunday. And she says there's still a lot of, a lot of work to do on the rural roads and state highways. Well, I hope they get a lot of help from the temperatures tomorrow. Okay, Shatanya, thanks so much for letting us know how that's going.